All right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Urrutia here. We're going to go over unit three, lesson six, practice problem number two. Okay, let's start off by reading the problem. The graph shows a relationship between the number of cups of flour and the number of cups of sugar in Lynn's favorite brownie recipe. The table shows the amount of flour and sugar needed for Noah's favorite brownie recipe. Okay, <clears throat> so right now what I want you to see notice here, we have two different recipes. One is Noah's and one is Lynn's. So Lynn's recipe is this graph here, right? Then Noah's recipe is shown in the table. These are two different recipes. Okay, now we're going to just remember as we're working, since we have two different recipes, we have to um, answer the questions based on those and remembering that we have two different recipes. Okay, question number A, Noah and Lynn buy a 12-pound bag of sugar and divide it evenly to make their recipes. If they each use all their sugar, how much do they each need? So I underlined that part right there in green for the 12 cups of sugar. Now, when they divide it evenly, how, how many cups of sugar will each person get? Each person will get six cups of sugar. Okay, each one gets six cups of sugar. Now for each, for the, the part here, look here on, in Lynn's graph, right? This axis goes by ones, one, two, three, four, five. Where would the next one be here? That would be six. And you see how all these points all line up. You can use the graph to see where Lynn's um, cups of flour will be at six cups of sugar. Okay, so there's the line for um, Lynn's graph. And you see here that's six cups of sugar. Where is that going to be? How many cups of flour? It's going to be right here for three cups of flour. So for Lynn, it's three cups of flour. For Noah, we're going to do that a different way because you have a table here for Noah. Now for the amount of cups in, a sugar, in sugar, because this is proportional, I can multiply, I can double and triple. Now I can do it two different ways. <clears throat> I have this one right here, three cups of sugar. If I double it, because this is proportional, I can add a row here for six. Okay. So because I can double it here, right? Three times two is six, and this is proportional then I can also double here on the right side, which would give me four cups of flour for Noah. All right, now for part B, Noah and Lynn buy a five cup bag of flour and divide it evenly to make their recipes. Notice here, this part is asking us for cups of flour. Okay, and I'm using a different color there because that's a different thing in the table. If they use, if they each use all their flour, how much sugar will they need? So I can do the same thing as before, but now I need to notice that I'm looking for um, cups of flour. So if they divide 10 cups of flour evenly, then each one will use five cups of flour. Okay, there are several ways to do it. And I'm going to look here at this part in the graph for one cup of flour, right? One cup of flour. And I'm going to make a mini table right here on the side. Okay, now in this table here, I know one cup of flour is two cups of sugar. And I got that here from the graph. Now in this question here, it's asking me for five cups of flour. And because I have the table here, what am I gonna do here? It's proportional, I can mul I multiply this part by five. So then what am I gonna do here? Multiply this by five, which is 10. Then for Noah, I'm going to do a similar, I can do the same thing here, right? I know one cup of flour, so I can just multiply that by five. I can do this one times five, so times five right there, and then do three over two times five. 
going to be 15 over 2. Okay, so for Noah, I just do that multiplication there. And then for Lynn, we already saw it right here, right? I just multiplied by 5, and I get 10 cups of sugar. All right. Okay, thank you, ladies and gentlemen.